I'm here in Marbella, Spain, where I traveled for a big uh, Audi event where they've presented uh, e-tron to a lot of journalists and media influencers. And we had a chance to test drive it, spend a lot of different uh, times with different, different scenarios with this car. And there will be a few videos coming. Uh, but today, I just kind of wanted to concentrate on one thing, because this is a brand new concept. And as you can see, I'm standing to, uh, you know, next to the e-tron right here. But as you can see, this is no longer a mirror. This is a camera. Um, and I, I know you guys seen this in many different concept cars out there. Everybody wants to have a camera, but it is only legal here in Europe. The uh, the e-tron in the, the United States and North America is still going to have bigger mirrors. Now I, w I had a chance to drive this car for the first time and then compare it to what it's like driving, uh, you know, the same car only with standard mirrors. And I think I've kind of shaped my opinion now about it. Um, and, and by the way, uh, let me just uh, tell you guys really quick that. Uh, if this is your first time here welcome to my channel uh, don't forget to click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward okay so um you know my this is great. First of all, this is great looking. I like the way this looks better than mirrors. Um, I think uh, maybe they could have done a little bit better job making it kind of more part of the car rather than something that maybe was just kind of stuck on it afterwards. But nevertheless, I feel like this is still better than having a big bulky mirror. However, you know, what, 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 oh, the, another positive thing, I'm gonna start with positive, uh, is that of course uh, the wind, the, the noise of wind. When you're driving an electric car, as you know, it's really quiet until you pick up the speed and the wind from the mirrors is actually what makes all the noise, right? In this case, there is not much noise. So this car, in any car with a, a camera mirror like this, uh, is going to be very, very quiet. So I really like that. And obviously it's gonna go further because the drag, drag efficiency um, is lower. So therefore the wind can go with flow through the car um, easier and therefore it can go further of course now now here's an issue what I, I, I have with these and I'm not really quite sure what the solution might be let me show you where the monitor is uh, for this car's feedback and by the way before I go any further I just want to mention that uh, this video and this uh, channel is sponsored by Starman gifts and I got uh, the adventures of Starman right here a product uh, their flagship product uh, that you should definitely own if you want to relive the launch of the Falcon Heavy if you are a SpaceX fan this is a must-have book um, there's a discount code in the description of this video go ahead and grab it but that discount code is good for pretty much everything that they sell there so check that out I brought it all the way with me to Spain I thought the uh, Starman I know has been around uh, the galaxy and everything but but uh, Marbella Spain is another bad place to visit for it so all right so let me show you what the uh, monitor is for this and as you can see it's built in right here into the door now this is where I'm starting to have a problem with this because uh, when I was driving and I wanted to check my blind spot or you know to see if I could change the lane um, I obviously looked at here where the mirror used to be but then I realized, they realized that I have to look down and there are two problems with that one is I soon as I look down whether it's on this door and, uh, or where I you know obviously where the driver is which is down to your left I essentially lose the side of my blind spot and the side of what's going on in front of the car and therefore I'm actually making myself less safe I felt because my just side vision just was completely kind of taken down and I now I'm concentrating on an object that's only a few inches away rather than maybe a couple of feet away so I've noticed my entire intention from everything that I see in front and uh, to the side of me uh, was taken by this monitor. So that's one thing that I felt didn't really feel comfortable with. But secondly, and as I, I was looking, like I wanted to recognize like the car uh, behind me. Was it another Audi? Was it some something else? And you know, there I don't know if they're high definition. If they are, maybe it's the the camera feed that I wasn't able to see as well as I was able to see in the mirror. So that's kind of created another problem because like, for example, there was at one point, there was a motorcycle in my, uh, in, on my side and I wanted to see if it was a cop. And yes, it was a Spanish cop, but still you can easily distinguish them. But I was having a hard time uh, figuring out, like I saw it was a bike, but I didn't see what kind of, I saw some lights on it or whatever in this, um, 
in this monitor. So those are the two issues that I've had with it. And I almost, if I had a choice, as cool as this is, I probably would go with regular mirrors. So those of you guys in the United States, don't feel too bad that, that, that we're kind of, I don't even have an option uh, for this feature. However, let's talk, uh, let's talk about what can be done. Now, I've seen some different uh, prototypes and pre-production cars with the same technology. And I think what works for me is what Byton did with their um, M-Byte. So the feed from the cameras actually go into the dashboard monitor. So you kind of get to see the picture. You guys, in fact, you, you see both uh, images side by side. That way you can only look, you, sh you have to look only um, in your dashboard. Now, I, I, until I drive it, I don't want to say that that's the perfect solution because still you have to take the eyes off the road and even your side vision will be compromised a little bit because once again, you're concentrating on an object that's maybe a little bit closer than you normally used to. But I still believe that's a, a bit of a better solution. Now, of course, I probably should say another thing is because of the way the ca camera is positioned, um, you don't really have a blind spot anymore. You don't really need to look um, a, a around your shoulder because the way that covers it, right, it covers everything that's next to you and on. Uh, so if you don't see anything in this uh, in this camera, you're good to go. But another thing that's pretty cool thing on the monitor, maybe I should show it to you here. Um, as you're looking at it, uh, it will light up red, yellow, and green, just like some of the features on an actual mirrors, right? They would have those indicators, which I really like, which I wish Tesla would have. Um, it will also uh, have like a little bit of a frame, I guess, around the entire monitor, and that way you can also tell if there's somebody in your, um, in your blind spot. So that's another way that I thought was a pretty good representation of what's happening. So, uh, you know, in conclusion, I would say that good start because again, of things that I've mentioned, they're completely covering the blind spot and you know, uh, um, you know, a longer range and, and, and lower noise. I still think that presentation of the image, it, 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 I, I think, I, I think it needs some work. Now, let me just mention one more thing. Obviously, I've driven this car for just one day and I just couldn't get used to something like that in one day. So something to be said about maybe if you drive this car for a week and then you really get used to it, then maybe it actually works for you. Now, then of course the question becomes, well, what if you have another car with a mirror and then how do you go back and forth? It's kind of a, you know, you can't really work out, you know, to have two different habits for the same sort of function. And that's a philosophical question, I think, at this point. But nevertheless, I'm excited that this technology is here, right? I mean, we've been seeing these on many, many concept cars and saying, oh, the future, well, the future is now. And I really like this because, you know, this car is obviously going on sale in March, really next month here in Europe and then a few more months uh, uh, in the United States. So. Let me know in the comment section, guys. One, what do you think about the camera in general? Do you think this is a technology you would enjoy in your car and if your future car? But most importantly, where do you think that their monitor needs to be placed? I don't have a perfect answer. Let me see what the comment section is. And by the way, these brands, they scout to the comment section of uh, YouTubers talking about these cars all the time. So your opinion actually does matter and your opinion might shape the future. I know these are big words, but nevertheless, looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And Remember to stay charged.